Next, you will want to connect the MobiPad to the computer. First, you need to have the computer turned on. Second, turn the MobiPad over so that the bottom side of the pad is facing up. Then remove the USB RF hub from the RF hub space as shown. It should simply pop out. Next, take the USB RF hub unit and plug the USB RF hub into the USB port of the computer. The USB RF hub will have a blue light that comes on once it is connected to the computer. Once the MobiPad is connected using the pin of the MobiPad as a mouse or a cursor, simply move the pin's tip around the active area of the MobiPad. To select or click on an icon, move the cursor using the Mobi's pin to the desired program icon you wish to open. From there, all you have to do is gently double tap the pin's tip on the active area of the MobiPad. On below the notebook icon is the keyboard icon. By clicking on it, you bring up a on-screen keyboard. This allows you to type using the Mobi Pad by clicking on the letters with the Mobi Pen. This works best if you're not near the keyboard of the computer and you are moving around the classroom and, for example, are using the web browser of the computer and need to find a website or typing in the name of a website. When you're done using the InterWrite Mobi Pad, you will need to power it down so other instructors that may use the classroom and need to use the pad can use it themselves and have a fully charged battery. You simply power the Mobi Pad down by simply pushing the power button once. Then, please make sure the pin is securely placed in the pin storage slot. Unplug the USB RF hub from the computer USB port. Then turn the Mobi Pad over so that the back side of the pad is facing up. Place the USB RF hub back into its USB RF hub storage space. To charge the Mobi Pad, you take the mini USB charger cable. Remember, the mini USB port for charging is located on the top edge of the Mobi Pad. Taking the mini USB plug in of the charger, plug it into the Mobi Pad, as seen here. If you have properly plugged in the mini USB cable the, and the pad is charging and the pin is charging, the pad's battery life icon and the pin charging icon should show up if everything has been properly plugged in and the pin is securely placed in the pin's storage slot. Once the mini USB cable has been plugged in and if it is correctly charging, the pad charging and pin charging icons should show up if everything has been properly plugged in and the pad is securely placed in the, in the pin storage slot. For further questions using the Interwrite Mobi Pad, please contact Pat Boggs or Jasmine Riviera in the Distance Education Department of the Wabash Valley Ivy Tech Community College campus.